I remember seven or eight years ago seeing in the Washington Post just a footnote in an article in their science section where they admitted that in Costa Rica there is widespread human animal clones being made. And yes, my friends, you heard me right. In fact, if you go back to the BBC News articles from more than a decade ago, they admitted that they weren't just cloning humans, that they were splicing them in one case with cow genetics, bovine genetics, so that the cow would not reject the human fetus growing inside of its uterus. Now, why are they doing this? They are growing the fetuses up to close to term, uh, reportedly, and this is what we know about, so that their organs can be harvested. You have your clone produced with cow genetics in it so that uh, your clone can be grown in a cow nearing the time that you need the liver transplant or kidney transplant or blood transfusions, whatever the case is, and then your clone is harvested from the womb of the cow or the artificial wombs that they've been developing and harvested um, so that you can have an extended life. And the issue here is we need to have a debate about this. People see this as science fiction because in movies back in the 50s and 60s and 70s or in the island of Dr. Maru, uh, this was written about many decades before that. And so people have been preconditioned that this is fantasy and that this doesn't exist. This is very real.